Hi, this is Brandon with Android Device Tutorials. Here I'm going to do a quick uh, review of Android 5.0 Lollipop. Um, it, it feels a little weird even saying that. Google in their crazy names. Um, but first thing you'll notice when you turn, this is the Nexus 9, which is running Lollipop. Um, when you first turn your tablet on, you'll notice that um, it has notifications on the lock screen. Um, that's one of the biggest changes so that you can actually see you know all of your notifications and things going on on this one screen without having to actually go in to the device itself pulling down your notifications um, which is nice you can just kind of tap the power and see it okay so that said you can also swipe them away from here as well um, swipe up goes into the t into the tablet or phone they, they pretty much work the same way okay now that we're on the device itself you hear a lot of talk about material design. What material design is, is your smooth transitions. It's your um, kind of the cleaner design with um, more grid-based, responsive type transitions and animations. Um, uh, you'll, you'll notice more padding and kind of a lot of different additions to make things cleaner. Um, you'll see that a lot with the, lightings and the, sh the lighting and the shadows and things, but uh, that'll be a little more difficult to see on a video, but um, one is uh, Google Now has kind of that grid layout and then you'll notice if you open a few things let's just uh, there, Netflix uh, Google Play camera okay so it's snappy as you can tell um, you open up your apps here and you'll see that you have these this kind of card style smooth clean that's part of that material design um, this card layout is also new in Lollipop, so you can bring it up and swipe certain ones out, you know, whatever ones you don't want anymore. Okay, so let's just swipe that out. Um, <clears throat> one thing you will also see is uh, that's different is the notification bar. I'm sorry, it's late. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tripping on my words, but um, you swipe down once, you get your notifications, okay? You swipe down again, and you get your quick settings like brightness, um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, these different things, your screencasts. Um, and one thing that's added here is a flashlight. Um, I can't necessarily show you. The flashlight here, when you turn that on, it turns your flash on, and you can see it kind of up in the corner here that it's on. It turns your flash on so that you don't actually have to have an app for that. Okay, let me turn it back off. Okay. Um, another thing I can't really show you, but is battery life. Um, battery life on this is um, really nice. They supposedly, according to uh, Technica, they had a report that said that on the Nexus 5, it increased battery life by 36%, moving from KitKat to Lollipop. So that's a nice, nice addition there. Um, another thing you'll notice is when you swipe down, where you used to see settings right here, you'll see a little kind of person icon. Um, that icon is for multi-user mode. So we'll go ahead and select that. And now in multi-user, what you can do is you have your profile and a guest profile, and you can create new profiles for other users, say you and your wife, you and your, you know, whoever, a friend. Um, you can add a user and they would have all their own apps on their screen. Now any settings they change as another user will change for all users, um, like Wi-Fi settings, things like that. Um, now, one thing you will see is this guest. Now, this guest is important if you have friends that use your device, um, if you have children. Um, the guest is nice because what will happen is when you switch to guest, anything that's done on the device will be um, temporary, cached, you know, things like that. So what will happen is every time the guest one's open you can tell it to clear the previous guest or to um, continue where the guest left off but that's pretty that's pretty much it they can't mess with settings they can't change anything that will affect your main profile um, so that's that I'll get a video out on on the actual you know how to use this and its full features and everything here um, soon um, a few more things that I can't really show you necessarily, but that you will notice with um, Lollipop. Um, one is that it supports 64-bit chipsets, allowing for more memory. 
hence the speed and this one's this is 64 bit um they changed the, the what you'll see in older android uh, cache is the dalvik cache um they've now changed the android runtime or they call it art rt um and it allows ready mode basically meaning that you can have multiple apps that are open in the background and switch between them quickly without them having to reload itself um, like you'll notice you'll select something from your drawer here I don't have anything open but you'll select something there that you were running previously and it'll give you a little loading icon because it wants to um, kind of reload it up where, where it left off well what this does is it allows it to jump right to it um, now they say that it makes it a lot smoother and it allows four times the performance um, I don't really know how to judge the speed of performance difference because um, obviously this device is different than, than any other device I would match it up to. Um, but it does take up more space having that. Um, another thing is the camera. Um, the camera's nice. I can't really... That's another thing I can't really show you. The camera's pretty good, but it... Um, Lollipop-specific and not tablet-specific, it allows third-party apps to access the RAW files instead of just the compressed JPEGs that you're used to, to seeing um, shared. So it'll allow for a lot better editing and much better quality um, uh, pictures. Um, we'll jump in here. I'm going to go ahead and open the settings real fast just to kind of get a look for it. You will see that it's, it's a much cleaner um, setup. Looks like you can opt out of advertising, location settings. Um, I haven't really dove into this yet itself. It's got Google Fit. Um, just your basic Google settings is that one. But then there's also a settings. Um, so that's something you'll have to remember. There is a settings icon that says Google settings. That is not your device settings. That is just Google app specific. Um, and then you have settings. And this is all the settings you're used to seeing broken out, kind of like Samsung does, um, by types of things in a in a one full page instead of tabbed out. Um, but here, pretty everything's pretty much the same. It just looks different. Um, we will open up the battery. Um, it does give you more details than it did in the past. You can select on specific things, uh, select specific things, and see. Um, how you can adjust it to save battery life. Um, let's look at Netflix. goes into the app stuff so you can kind of see uh, much better details. CPU, time, foreground, awake, you know, how much data it's sending um, and receiving. So there's a lot more there with the battery and that may be a whole other video in itself as well. Um, but overall, it's, it's definitely the best operating system that uh, Android's seen yet. Um, I definitely recommend getting a device with it if you are looking at Android, if you already have it and just want to learn more. Um, hopefully that helped some. If not, uh, ask away. I, I, I'm sure I missed plenty. Um, but that's kind of an overview of Android 5.0 Lollipop. Thanks for watching.